I'm very excited, actually, to be directing the 100th episode of the series. Very proud of the series. I've been working on it for, uh, well, I've been here kind of since season one. And the 100th episode we're shooting right now is called Pride Before the Fall. You want the upside or the downside? Up, please. If we ever get back to our old fight, the unification of the Nietzscheans will be easy. Because the Nietzscheans will never attack you. I don't follow. Becca, you are the alpha mom of all Nietzscheans. That's why Peter took your DNA. The audience finds out a major kind of revelation about Becca's character. Wait a minute, but... <laughs> I, I thought you said the mother of all Nietzscheans, but you said... Nice, heavy, dramatic episode to celebrate 100. Usually, when you're directing episodic television, you have about a week of pre-production. So I got the script about a week before we started shooting. And the way they do episodic television, it's a checkerboard style. So while they're shooting, the other directors and crew are prepping the next episode. And the poor shooting crew kind of just works every day, nine to five. And so I had this, I had this show for about six days before we started shooting, which is pretty fast. And you put it all together and you work on the design for how you're going to do the sequences and the sets are built. And then, and then you're shot down the tunnel and you're out on the set shooting. Usually what happens is just a lot of meetings. It's the producer and, uh, and myself, and sometimes the writers on conference line, and the art department, and all, all the people that are involved physically trying to figure out how you're gonna put this massive effort together in, in six days. And quite often what happens during prep meetings is you'll cut down the size of the show because the scripts come in and they're very big, and obviously they, they're a lot of big ideas they wanna try to, att to, to attempt. And during the course of those production meetings, reality sets in and you realize there is so only so much you can do in six days. Ask him about the Cali melon. This is my good friend, uh, <laughs> Gordon, who, uh, who we did a Cali melon episode together. David Winning is the director responsible for the travel of the Cali melon. That's one of, right. One of the most favorite episodes. I, I was one of the first people to blow up a Cali melon on That's Andromeda, right. wasn't I? I always get asked about it at conventions. Yeah, one of the best episodes. Hey, one of the five favorite scenes of all time, I think, Gordon. That's right. Wasn't it? Yeah. I blew up that Cali melon. You blew up. You sent it into the past. You better believe it, baby. 6,000 years in the future, they aren't called watermelons. They're called Cali melons. Everybody knows this. Say that I win. I will not. Why? No! I have no choice! <laughs> Science fiction is always challenging. You know, I, I've always said that I think some of the best actors come from science fiction, and some of the best actors are involved in science fiction television. An awful lot of the elements that these actors have to work with aren't here. It's all special effects, it's all make-believe. Quite often you'll be working with actors who are just looking at green screens and nothing's there. And as a director, you have to kind of describe, well, it's gonna be some big hairy monster or it's gonna be some, you know, exploding spaceship or something. And, and so they have to react basically to nothing or to little pieces of X taped on walls and things. And uh, so that's a bit of a challenge. It's, it's a lot of make-believe is what it is. I mean, you know, the biggest challenge, seriously, just in any kind of television show is just physically getting it to happen in six days. The fact that it does happen week after week always surprises me. It's time. A lot of this crew worked on a series uh, called Nightman that we did for Tribune before Andromeda came up. And so a lot of the people have worked together and they're friends. And it really helps to get a, a kind of a shorthand running through a group of creative people because things just happen faster. Sometimes it can be bad too, sometimes you can get stale, but I think with this particular group it's been a lot of fun, very creative. The thing with any television series when you've gone this long is it becomes a family. <laughs> I think the ingredients that make up a great episode would be to have a bit of everything, you know? Some humor, some tears, some action. It's just like movies. It's like the best movies always have kind of a blend of everything. You don't want to see just a comedy or an action. You want to see kind of a mixture of everything. And that's been the fun thing is I've had a chance to direct a lot of shows. I've done some action episodes. I've done, I tend to get the funny shows. I get the girl shows. I get the romance shows, which I don't mind. You know? And you know, you kind of get labeled when you're a director. You've got, Cause I've done a lot of kids series. I've done a lot of, I've done kind of everything across the board. So it's nice to get a, it's nice to get a blend. And, and those are the best shows. The ones that have elements of everything. Mark. Set. Set. Action. 
Anger. I like it. Anger. I like it. I think one of the most rewarding things is actually just seeing the finished product because it's there's so much work. So much work goes into every minute of television, especially because we work so fast. In the feature world, it's two or three pages a day. And in television, you're shooting sometimes, I mean, on some of these days, we're shooting 12 to 13 pages a day, which is just ridiculous pace. And to still kind of get a feature quality to, to shows and to scenes is amazing. Intriguing. So it's very, it's very gratifying to sit down and see it all packaged and put together. It's great sound mix, great music score, and the effects just really top everything off. So that's exciting for me.